Is that a necklace? I bet you it's sunglasses. Is that fingernails? <laughs> Dude, that's Dude. fingernails. <laughs> it's coming to a head. I have no idea what this thing is, but it's kind of creeping me out. Hey treasure fam, welcome to Lake Mead. This is 2022 at Lake Mead. It's pretty sad. This is the lowest the lake has ever been since it was flooded in 1935. That was 86 years ago, I believe. This was a super popular party cove where a ton of boats would tie off and just hang out, go fishing, cliff jumping, jumping off the boats and losing stuff. We're gonna go walk this lake bed and see if anything interesting has, has been dropped. I got my buddy RJ from the channel RJ32 with me today. And this guy is an expert on dry land. Let's go get it. So there's a boat right down here, you guys. It looks Looks like it was sunken for a long time. So we're gonna go check that out, see if there's any keys in the ignition and see if we can take it back into the water and drive it off. Let's try to take this out to the water and see if we can get it to float. Let's see what we can do, guys. Check out how deep the cracks are. This was just, this is just silt. Look at this chunk, look. This is just a chunk of lake silt. Whoa, dude, this is concrete. This is the ramp right here. Look how thick that silt got. So there could be Apple watches literally like right here, like in this deep of, of mud. That, usually when I find like a phone or an Apple watch in like lake silt, it's so soft when it's wet that it'll just sink down when it hits. And so it'll kind of sit right there. So technically there could be an Apple watch inside of this right now. Should we find out? Come over here. What's this? It's an old piece Wire. of rope. Yeah. Nylon rope or something. Crazy. Okay, let's go check out that boat, you guys. I can just tell you right now, I'm walking over rings, phones, GoPros. It's all just like an inch deep in that, that layer. So we might be able to come across where like something's poking out the edge of one of these bricks. Like that, it's like that shell. See that shell? That shell is about two inches deep. That's a light object. But that was sitting in the mud when it was wet. So if you think about like something heavy like an Apple Watch, it's gonna be about that same depth. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh! <laughs> I, I was looking at no, this over man. here, but I look what I just found. Yeah. Dude! Oh my gosh! It's the first find of the day, you guys. Look at this knife. Oh man, that was just sitting on top. The crazy thing is, I didn't even see this. I saw something right here, which I'm gonna have you guys come over and take a look at as I dig it out with my brand new knife. This is the first find of the day. That's super encouraging. And now let's dig this thing out of the side. And what this tells me, treasure fam, is we're in the zone where people would have been dropping things. And so I'm gonna spend more of my time now right in this area. Okay, what's this little purple deal? Sunglasses. What is that? It's longer than I thought it was. Is that a necklace? I bet you it's sunglasses. Is that fingernails? <laughs> Dude, that's fingernails. <laughs> What is this? Dude, it's a purple grill. <laughs> I have no idea what this thing is, but it's kind of creeping me out. Leave a comment down below if you guys can take a guess what this is. I'm kind of confused. It's okay, a it's purple coming, vampire teeth. It's coming to a head. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's like a squirt gun or something, I think. It's a piece oh, of yeah. a plastic toy. That was the only thing that was showing and I thought I was seeing some like fingernails, like some someone got their nails did. That was pretty <laughs> eerie for a second there. The heck is this? Yeah, what is that thing? It's a base of a fishing pole. Look at this tennis ball. Deep in the crack. That's crazy how deep these are. Look at this. I'm gonna stick you in the crack, treasure fan. You ready for this? Look at this greasy mud. Ooh, yeah. fish oil, omega fatty acids right there. Look at this fatty acid. Oh, guys, look at this. So an interesting fact about this uh, little cove here, this was a trapped water cove, meaning there was water here with fish, live fish still in it. When it started drying, it was an enclosed area. So there was no flow of water. And so the fish that were st stuck in here obviously didn't make it. So now we're left with this kind of post-apocalyptic scene of dead fish everywhere. That's the carp it looks like. Now if you look over here, there's just fish everywhere, guys. All right, here's the boat, guys. Ready to see the boat?
Hey, it's still, we can still make out the, uh, the tag. Oh, it was upside down. Do you see that? This uh, boat was upside down when the water drained because look at all these little, little hangers. And then somebody must have come and tipped it upright. What is this? Megaphone? Hello! And the button still pushes, look at this. Dude, this button still works. That's long gone. That's eerie, y'all. Check out the boats over here. And the bimini top is over here. Still wrapped. Dude, that's good condition. These are like a thousand dollars. It's pretty stiff. Oh, it's going, it's coming, it's coming. Woo! <laughs> no way, it still works? I would've thought that would be so rusty. Oh, it's still clean? What? No way! <laughs> Dude, the perfect <laughs> desert shelter. Dude, look at this. Survival. <laughs> No way! This is how you survive in the <laughs> desert. Treasure fam, come under here. You, you guys are getting hot. We're in the middle of the desert right now, on a dry lake bed, under a sunken boat bimini top that we just found from this boat over here. Its bimini top was over here for some reason. I still don't know if that happened when they crashed or uh, if, if somebody dragged it all the way over here. I can't see them doing that. Also, there's no drag marks here. So I'm thinking this thing separated from the boat when it crashed. That may have caused the crash, actually. It's giving me some shelter in this hot sun. This is, this is a hot Nevada summer day. All right, I see something poking out from the mud. Let's go explore. What is that? A little tag. Look how deep this thing was. Wow. Whoa. <gasps> is it keys? Off of a keychain. Oh, wow. 3449. Four, what is that, an address? Blue. Wow, is there a key is it in the there? Price? Let's see if there's a key. In a normal condition, I would be underwater right now and I'd be fanning the silt because I got a hit on my metal detector, but right now I'm just pulling up chunks and seeing what's down there. All right, RJ, what'd you find, man? I think we got a fishing lure right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fishing lure. It got stretched between two clay bricks. Oh, dude, look at that. It just leaves a little Oh, man, trail. that's so funny. Zip tie, is it tied to something? No. Is that it? Oh, it's a is that a raccoon too. bone? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> it might be. Look how sharp it is. Bridges or bikini briefs. I don't know. Bikini briefs. That's a new one. RJ just found this chum bucket over there. We made a little handle out of it. And there's this section up here closer to the dock where there's a ton of stuff that's just piled up. Lots of more trash, but also probably a lot more treasure too. Is that a phone? Oh, it's a case. It looks like a phone, but phone case. Oh, sweet. It looks like a six, a six or a, no, that's a seven. A seven phone case, I think, because of the horizontal lenses. Oh yeah. What is that? VB2. Is that a little hoodie? It's like a little hoodie. A little three-year-older. Nothing. Mm, a phone! <laughs> oh, sweet. No way! It's a droid. This thing is older than old. Look at this. This thing is like generation one. Droid. Oh yeah, oh. that's awesome. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if it has a SIM card. It could have a memory card. Yeah. Like an SD card. There right. could be pictures in this thing. The coolest part about this is that this was dropped in water, like maybe 10 to 15 feet of water, and it sat there underwater forever, and then I just walked up and grabbed it off of the bottom of the freaking lake. Look at this shotgun shell. Someone's shooting oh, yeah. skeet out here. And also, there's this little bounty ball. Little kid lost his ball 30 years ago. And now he's 40. <laughs> <laughs> when you uh, pull in there and you see the, the palm trees. Yeah. I have a picture of myself standing. There used to be a 25 mile an hour speed limit there. Uh -huh. And I'm knee high in water. Are you kidding me? Yeah, and that was 1983. Oh, oh. way up there? Yes. Because you can't even see the water now from here. No, 
and this was probably down here a month ago and there was a little puddle right here where oh it's gosh. darker but yeah wow. yeah we had our boat here at the marina for years and years oh and my years. gosh feel free if you want to send that picture to me and i would love to include it in my video because we're making a little video about just the history of the water level here Oh, okay. So she's talking a quarter mile up the road. She was knee high in water. And I'm gonna include the picture of that right here, which is so crazy. Cause we're like, what's that? Like 30 feet below that water level? Right now we're about 160 feet below 1983. Oh, wow. You know, you can see Gosh. the bathtub ring up here. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and at that time, uh, there was a launch ramp here, but they had to close this one. So we're just pulling out. I mean, I already found a phone. This is a phone oh case. Gosh. I found a, uh, awesome. here's another phone that I actually found. Look at that. That thing has been down there for maybe since 83. <laughs> Do you recognize no, that No, we phone? didn't have cell phones okay. in 83. <laughs> I don't even think we had the bricks. <laughs> this is the first, the first money The of first the day. coin. No finally, way. It finally paid off. My whole trip here from Texas finally paid off with this penny could be a gold coin it could be so but i'm gonna yeah. throw it in the basket well gosh i wish you guys the best thank you so Thanks. much Joyce. Yeah, it was great just... to meet you i got the half half of a uh oh. fishing scissors or yeah pliers to get the hook out or something oh. got a lure or a just a hook to... it's a fancy little try trouble hook Ooh, that could do some damage there yeah no kidding can you imagine walking barefoot out here <sighs> I'm so Just glad like, I wore my shoes today. I was thinking about going barefoot today. <laughs> I'm super thankful that I brought my shoes. Smart man. <laughs> Look at this. Got me a full set. Hook, line, and sinker right there. Now, if we can catch a fish on that hook oh, tomorrow. On that boat. <laughs> after we drag it to the lake. <laughs> That's a self-sustaining hobby right there. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, boat casing? Yeah. Two bullets. Dude, where's what the... if that's mafia? Dude, it could be mafia. That's probably a 380. I think that's 380. What Dude, is that? It's grease. It's like a grease gun. Oh, it's an old one. Right next to that crawfish corpse. Oh, we got. Is something. there something in the bag though? Oh, there could be. I don't think there is. Oh, no, it's just. Oh, it goes all the way over there. Yeah, it's big. It's a tarp. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the shape that it made on the bag on the Whoa. mud. That's a cool texture right there. We're almost to the top of the bathtub ring is what they call it, where the water level used to be in 1983. Check out what I just found. This is proof that this was underwater at one point. Look at this. Oh, there's the rest of it right here. Oh, under this rock. Oh shoot, it's old. Dude, it's been in there for a long okay. time. Gotta have this side. How did it even get under that rock? Found a pair of specs. Old reading glasses. Old reading glasses. Both lenses are still there. After how many rainstorms, they all separated, but it's all in the same two foot radius. Check that out. Oh, look at the lenses. Look through the lens. Oh, dude, they're like time warped. Those have gotta be 70, like 60s or 70s. Yeah. Check this out. This is the heel of a flip-flop, but listen to the, what this sounds like. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. That thing is, oh. Oh, you got Look it. how old this thing is. Oh. All right, guys, we just made it to the very top of the bathtub ring, which is what they call where the water line used to be when it was fully filled. This lake was full. That was in 1983. Now check out where the water line is. Way down there. That is crazy. So right down here is where we just spent about an hour and a half searching where the marina used to be two months ago. But everything else was underwater too. So now we're about to go ahead and hike down this canyon here because back in the 80s, that may have been a hot spot for boaters to go hang out. So we might find some interesting stuff down that little wash. Let's go check it out. Guys, we just found a cave. Watch out for mountain lions. What's in there? Oh, it goes back, dude. Not far, but it's like a perfect little... Whoa, dude. What? What? A lure right here? Oh my gosh. That's an old That's too. so old. It's been baking in the sun for decades. Yeah. This is what the snacker, the, the fishermen were snacking on. Wait, what is this? Cooks. This is old trash, y'all. Look, it says snack steak or smoked steak. That's crazy. Trash doesn't just disappear after 
40 years, it just sits there and gets broken up into tiny little microplastics. Throw your trash away, y'all. Wait, out. hang on a second. What is this? Is that like a fire pit? Looks like it would have been a, an old fire pit. The water line was way up there, so this would have been like late 80s or early 90s. Or earlier. Way Oh, earlier. before the lake was filled? Yeah. Dude, oh, is that an old Coke bottle? <laughs> what? It's been down there a minute. Oh, it's complete. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. What does the bottom say? Refilled. Not, not, to, not be to be refilled. refilled. Single time use. I don't know much about old bottles. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys can shed some light on how old you think that bottle is. Whoa, what is that? Gold flakes. Oh, oh like, dude, that's pyrite. Oh, that's a piece of a natural rock. Look at the colors on that. Whoa. And it's like, it's in layers, like. I've seen it like that before. That's crazy. How many of you in the comments have had baklava? When you take this pyrite and you break it, it kind of flakes like baklava crust. Look, we've got a fishing pole. Uh, old fishing pole. And then there's a TV down here. Ooh, man, that's old plastic. That's the back of it. The screen's completely gone. Oh, look at the screen's right here. Look at this is when it was, this is what the back of an old TV screen glass looks like, you guys. What is that, a bird bone? It's a rib. Because it's hollow. Bird bones are hollow. Is there any other? Well, the marrow's gone out of it. Oh. It could be. I mean, that's. Oh, well, that could be a the, human bone. It's about the same size right there. Why you, you gotta go? Why do you gotta assume the morbid? Hey, you know what? I'm still looking for the teeth. Les works for uh, is a uh, Fox affiliate. He's out here making a story. But he, you've lived here for how long? 19 years. What's the highest level that you've seen at this lake? Uh, this lake is down probably about 100 to 120 feet since I got here in uh, 2004, and there was still a whole lot of water around here, but. Uh, since December, it's just been evaporating, and this is what we got left here right now. That's crazy. Yeah. So this is what happens when a drought continues for, for years and years in a row. Pretty crazy to think that, you know, rain, something that's out of our control, can cause something like this. Thank you, Les. All right. Pleasure Appreciate to meet you. Appreciate it. All right. Hope everything gets right. better, not worse. I think my favorite find of the day was this knife because it was just sit on the top and normally I have to use my metal detector to find knives. But this was just barely poking out and I was able to pull it out. This might be the oldest smartphone that I've ever found and it happened to be on dry land. Guys, I was looking at this phone. Unfortunately, there was no expandable uh, storage where they had like a memory card inside. This is going in the trash after decades of sitting at the bottom of the lake. But most of all, guys, the main reason I was uh, here today was just to spend time with you, honestly, and enjoy this beautiful view that we have here in Las Vegas, Nevada at Lake Mead. Check this out, you guys. This is sunset, May 2022, Lake Mead. It's dry as a bone, but it's beautiful. So thanks for joining me today. Yeah. Also, make sure that you subscribe to this gent, RJ. Hey. Let's put RJ over the line, get him his plaque for 100,000 subscribers, guys. Let's do it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. I see something over there. Oh, it's a boat. Wonder this if was it's just recently exposed, like in the last couple of weeks. Nice roll bar right there. Dude, I have to get out and check this out. It's this whole ski bar. This is crazy.